Welcome to your advanced level 2-3 arm balance and hip opening practice. Please step to the front of your mat, bring your hands together at your heart, and take several slow, deep ujjayi breaths, centering, grounding. We're going to begin with prana mudra. Inhale and open your arms out to the sides, open the chest, full stretch, and then as you exhale, draw this energy into the center, bending your knees slightly, hands together at your heart. Inhale and open up, straightening the legs, opening the arms, heart to the sky. And then drawing the hands back together, anchoring and centering. So with your own breath, continue like this, feeling the breath energy move through your whole body. The breath is the foundation for our practice. The exhale is centering, it's grounding, it's anchoring. On your next inhale, now reach your arms all the way up overhead. Slight back bend, heart to the sky. And we'll exhale and fold forward, folding at the hips, relaxing down. Inhale, lift your heart, Ardha Uttanasana, half forward bend. Exhale and fold Uttanasana forward bend and then inhale reach out and rise up flat back lifting your heart to the sky only let your head go back if that's comfortable and exhale draw your hands down through the center line inhale reach your arms up opening the heart as much of a back bend as you like here exhale fold forward uttanasana so mindful movement with the breath, inhale, open the heart, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and fold, wave down through the spine, Uttanasana. Hands on the hips, knees bent, open the heart to rise up, strong legs straighten to lift you all the way up, arms reach up, heart lifts up. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Feel that prana move through your entire body. Heart opens into a back bend. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift halfway. Flat spine, heart opens. Exhale, fold down again. This time, hands come to the floor, bend your knees and step back to plank pose. So all of these you modify any way you need to. You can always do plank with your knees down. I'll show on the first round here, we move through chaturanga, elbows over the wrists, shoulders do not go lower than the elbows. Then you set your pelvis down. We'll start with low cobra, hands a foot in front of you. Inhale and lift up so your pelvis is touching the ground, some part of it. Your elbows are bent, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Deep inhale, and then exhale, we lower down, place your hands under the shoulders and press back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And several deep breaths here. In downward dog, your hands are pressing down into the mat, your fingers, your knuckles, spreading the hands. Your shoulder blades are moving away from your spine. And then we'll do a pulsation here. As you inhale, lift your heels. And as you exhale, ground the heels down towards the mat. So just opening up the legs. Inhale, heels lift up, hips lift up. Exhale, ground down, anchor, center. One more, inhale. And exhale. And look forward, bend the knees and step forward, feet to the hands. Inhale, lift your heart, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold down. 
Bend your knees, hands to your hips, squeeze your shoulder blades back and rise up with strong legs. Now reach your arms up overhead. Back bend, exhale, hands together at the heart. Feeling your awareness in your whole body. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Hips move forward as the heart goes back. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift your heart. Ardha Uttanasana, bend your knees, hands to the mat, step back to plank. You can always jump if you want, or you save your joints and you step back. And then lower down. Chaturanga, keeping that alignment, shoulder at the level of the elbows. Still in cobra, legs on the ground, pelvis on the ground. Rise up. Pull your heart forward, pull your shoulders back. Don't just drop your head back. Move the back of your head back, chin down slightly to help open up the upper chest. And then release down, and press back to downward dog. Deep breath in downward dog. You can always do what you need to in downward dog. If you want to do the pulsation here, we'll do it through the back. As you inhale, round your spine. And as you exhale, bend the knees a little and press your chest towards your legs. So inhale, coiling everything into the center and contracting your abs. And then exhale, chest towards the legs, feeling a little bit of a back bend. Inhale, round your spine. It's like a cat's breath and downward dog. Exhale, chest towards the legs, arch your spine. Just deep breath. Look forward, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to the hands. Inhale, your heart lifts up and opens, exhale, fold down, relax your neck, relax your jaw. Bend your knees, hands to the hips, shoulder blades squeeze back, straighten the legs to come all the way up, reach up, your back bend, exhale, Hands together at the heart. Now we move into variation of Surya Namaskara B. Bend your knees. Sink your hips down. So we're starting with chair pose and we'll do actually power pose. So I want you to sink your hips as low as your knees if possible and bring your forehead to your knees and bring your arms parallel to the ground. Just do your best here and then release. Hands to the floor, straighten the legs, step or jump, feet to the back of the mat. Plank pose, lower down through chaturanga. Don't let your shoulders go below the elbows. Press back up to a push up then lower down through chaturanga again and inhale into cobra, or you can choose upward dog this time. So legs don't touch the ground, squeeze your shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together, inhale, right leg to the sky. So letting that leg move with your breath, bend the knee, reach the knee up and back, stretch the front of the right leg. And then as you exhale, try to use your abdominals to step the foot through and to the outside of your right hand, so the very right edge of your mat. Scoot your left foot back and down, heel comes down. Down dog lunge. Walk your hands over to your left. So in downward dog lunge, your upper body is like downward dog, your lower body is like warrior two. I learned this pose from Christina Sell. Uh, several of these opening hip openers uh, that we're using to warm up here are from my studies with her and asana junkies. You want to move your right knee over the right ankle. For most of us that means moving it to the right slightly and your right hip in so the thigh bone becomes parallel to the long edge of your mat. Okay, walk your hands back. We'll step back to plank pose. Take a deep inhale and plank and then exhale lower down to chaturanga and inhale into cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Don't rush any of those poses. Move with your breath. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Bend your knee. Reach your knee up and back. And then exhale, mindfully, use your core, step that foot outside of your left hand, left edge of your mat, walk your back heel down, right heel down, and your hands over to the right. So you might be all the way off your mat, you might be just partially off your mat. Upper body like downward dog, lower body like warrior two. Move your left knee to the left. Knee and toes pointing in the same direction. Your left thigh bone is like an arrow, shooting straight. Your right leg is very straight, tightening through the kneecap and press down through the pinky toe side of your foot. Deep in your ujjayi breath. And then walk your hands back. Step to plank. Take a deep inhale and plank and then exhale through chaturanga. You can always use your knees as you need to. Take cobra as you need to. Squeeze your shoulders back. Move the back of your head back. And then exhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. And then bend your knees, look forward, step or jump, feet wide. Now we're coming into uh, squat and bakasana. So if you have any knee issues, you take that pose there, the high squat, feet wide, hips at the level of the knees. If your knees are okay, you're going to come into this low malasana with your inner arches of your feet together. Your heels may lift up off the floor, is fine, and your knees nice and wide. And you just fold down between the legs and stretch your fingertips out as far as you can. So this is developing some of the hip flexion that's required for bakasana. If you want to, you can turn your palms up to invite that relaxation, that openness. So you can stay in either of those malasanas, either of those squat poses, or you come into bakasana. So move your elbows back. You want the knees on the outsides of your arms and your hips low, relatively low, and squeeze the knees in and up. Eventually you are straightening your elbows. Deep breath here. Hips low, heels by the hips. If you can jump back to Chaturanga, you can jump or step back. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. So we'll be doing like that, um, a sun salutation and then a, a arm balance. So we'll right leg up now. Inhale, reach the right leg up, bend your right knee, reach it back, stretch the front of the right leg, and then carefully, mindfully, use your core to step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. And now we'll set the back knee down for a twisted lunge, left hand to the left edge of your mat, turn your right toes out, right hand on the right thigh, and twist, keep your heart open. There's almost a little back bend in this twist, and optional, if you want to reach for the back foot, your thumb is up, hold on to the pinky toe side of your back foot. And here we're actually pulling the foot in, so sometimes you push the foot out into the hand, but today we're pulling the foot in for the quadricep stretch, Bend your right elbow, lift your heart up, with a deep breath, press your heel close to your hip, closer to your hip, and then slowly release, hands down, and step back to plank pose, one-legged plank, keep the right leg floating, Lower down Chaturanga and then release the leg when you come up into Upward Dog or Cobra. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Feet together, inhale, left leg to the sky. Bend your knee and reach it up and back. 
stretch the front of the left thigh and then engage your core to step the left foot to the outside of the left hand your back knee down right hand to the right edge of your mat left hand to your left thigh turn the left toes out so again we have the knee and the toes facing pointing in the same direction twist through your spine press through that leg to twist through the spine with your heart open and then you have the option of bending the back knee to reach for the foot with your thumb up pinky toe side of the foot that's important for your shoulder opening and then if you have it available to you you can bend the knee by drawing the heel in and bending your elbow the left elbow and then slowly release so we never want to slingshot out you want your transitions to be as mindful as your actual poses are step back to a kapata plank one-legged inhale upward dog or cobra and exhale Adho Mukha Svanasana downward facing dog feel your whole body if you like to do that pulsation you can bring it back Now we're going to step forward with the feet outside the hands. We're moving towards Bhuja Pidasana. A couple options here. The first one is just the forward bend. It's a wide-legged forward bend. You're bringing your hands behind your heels. The thumb and index finger are like a horseshoe shape. And here you're actually pressing the knees into the shoulders and lifting the hips. Now the second option is if you want to do the actual arm balance, you sink the hips down onto the shelf. Hands flat, fingers pointed forward, cross at the ankles, and then change the cross of the ankles, and then you can set the feet back down and come back to your forward bend, and here we'll just take a wide forward bend, you can widen your feet a little bit more, interlace your hands behind you, and reach the hands up and away from the back. Just relax here as much as you can. Slow, deep breath. And then release your arms. Bring your hands down. And we'll step back to plank. Lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet together, inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot through to the outside of the right hand. Set your back knee down. Forearm lunge. So you could be on your hands here. If you have a block or a prop, you could put your elbows on that, or you may bring the elbows all the way to the ground. Now, lift your back knee up, walk your right shoulder underneath your right knee, your right arm is underneath your right leg, right hand holding onto the pinky toe side of the foot, and guide your head towards your knee with no force. And then the arm balance is to make a shelf with the right arm, the right leg rests on top of it, it's Ekapada Kaundanyasana back leg lifts up and then come back and step back to plank this is an advanced practice chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog I'm not giving detailed instructions on how to get into these feet together inhale left leg to the sky and then exhale and step your left foot to the outside of the left hand. Set the back knee down. Forearm lunge. You take 
whichever position feels the best for you so it should never feel painful we're not forcing anything you can let go of any ambition no one is watching you so you can stay in this hip opener if you like or for the arm balance you lift your back knee up walk your left arm underneath the left leg and head to ankle so you're guiding your head towards the ankle and you can stay there or the arm balance you make a chef shelf with that left elbow scoot the left toes forward to straighten that left leg and then you've got to tilt forward like you're going to kiss the ground for the back leg to come up and then come back to plank and we'll sit in child's pose for a resting moment with the palms up sitting the hips back you may need to release your wrists here haven't guided you into too much wrist release in this practice there is a lot of chaturangas and arm balances so please take care of your wrists Just staying connected to your breath feeling your heartbeat and then we'll slowly prepare to continue and rise back up. Interlace your hands, turn your palms out and up and reach your arms up overhead. And then twist to the right, twist to the left. Just gently releasing the spine, stretching the shoulders a couple times. And then bring your right hand down to the ground beside you and stretch through the left side. Inhale, rise up. Other side, left hand down. Reach your right arm and stretch the whole right side. And then come back up to center. Reach your hands forward. Press back up into downward facing dog. Look forward, bend your knees, step or you may jump feet to the front of the mat. Bend your knees down into chair pose, reach your arms up. Step back about two feet from the front of your mat for the next arm balance. From chair pose, cross your right ankle over your left knee. Bring your hands together at your heart and sink down. So you can work with just the pulsation here. If you don't want to do the arm balance, we can make this an all levels practice by simply Working on the hip opening and the strength of your standing leg, you sink down as you exhale. Or you can fold all the way down, hands come to the mat for the deeper hip opening, or you can take the arm balance. So you make a shelf with your elbows by placing your hands flat on the ground and you've got to hook your right toes. Strong hook with those right toes, slide the left leg back, top of the foot on the ground, so you can work there as the preparatory stage to eventually lift that back leg up. And then from here, release back down to forward bend. And we'll take the big toes, lift your heart up, arch your spine, inhale, and exhale and fold. We can do that a few times, inhaling and arching for the next side rise all the way up reach your arms up overhead and now we'll take the left ankle and cross it over the right knee hands together at your heart for this one-legged chair exhaling as you sink down and deepen the bend in your right knee inhale rising up not all the way but almost all the way so you can continue with that or fold down 
and you get the hip opening forward bend here. Or for the arm balance, you bend your elbows a lot. You gotta bend the standing knee enough to bring your hands flat onto the mat. Make a hook with your left toes and hook them around the upper arm and then that top leg goes back and you can either keep the top of the foot on the ground or you lean forward to float it up. And so coming back to your forward bend, and we're just flying through these practice style. Inhale, lift your heart. Bend the knees, hands to the hips. Squeeze the shoulder blades back to come all the way up. And now step with your feet a little bit wider, a little bit wider than hip distance. Bring your hands to your lower back. So standing back arch, standing anahata. Press your hips forward. Lean your rib cage back, your heart up. If you do, let your head go back. Chin down. You got to give yourself a double chin, a triple chin before you let the head go back. And then we're going to rise up. And round the spine when you come up. So we're going to invite this undulation in the spine, a little bit of release and counter pose for the work that we've been doing. You can reach back into the back bend, bending your knees, heart to the sky, undulating up, and then bend the knees, come forward, round your spine. So it's like this ripple coming all the way from your feet up to the crown of your head. And going back into the back bend, rising back up, rounding, and then we'll bring the feet together, hands together at your heart, ujjayi breath. Release the arms down, bend your knees, chair pose, arms reach up. As you exhale, sink deeper into the chair, sweep your arms down. As you inhale, float upwards, reach your arms up. Exhale down. So it's a pulsation in chair pose. We're staying in chair. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, hips down. A body vinyasa. So it's a pulsation in the hips, the arms in a body vinyasa. Then, twisting, cross your left elbow over your right knee. You can make namaste hands or make a fist with the hands. Really rotate the spine. So this is our first stage. You can stay here. Or for the arm balance, you've got to get that left elbow far down on your hips, on the, the side of your leg, and then bring both hands down. Your left leg straight behind you. Your right leg straight out to the left and you bend your elbows and tilt forward, radiating out through both legs, through the crown of the head, and then we're gonna come back through the twisted chair, Parivritta Utkatasana, rise up into chair, inhale through the center, and now we'll do the pulsation again. Exhale, hips down, inhale, rising up. Just moving that prana through your body, inhale, Wave through the arms, exhaling down, inhale, up. And then crossing over, right elbow crosses over the left knee. Sink your hips down. Squeeze your ankles together, squeeze your knees together. So if you want to do the arm balance, you come down, you've got to move your right elbow down on the thigh, closer to your hip. Scoot your right leg back behind you, your left leg out straight to the right, and then tilt forward. Bend both of those elbows. And then come back. You can always pause this if you want to work on it longer. Come back through, twisted chair, and then rise up into chair pose. Straighten the legs. Come up to standing, Tadasana, hands together at the heart. Deep breath. Okay, now we're going to come all the way down onto the back. So just make your way down onto the mat. Lay down. 
the knees bent, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. And just invite peace and calm into your whole body. As we prepare for back bending, it's our counter pose wave. Bring your feet in underneath the knees. So we begin with bridge. Feet pointed straight ahead. We're going to do just some tilts of the pelvis first. So tucking the pelvis under and then arching the back. So just arching your back away from the ground and then pressing your back into the ground and feeling what happens in your pelvis. Freeing the pelvis, freeing the spine. And then before you come up, tuck the tailbone strongly and then press the pelvis all the way up into the sky. The rib cage lifts up, the heart lifts up towards the chin. So you can stay in this bridge pose, or if a wheel is a part of your practice, come onto the crown of the head, move your head back slightly, and then straighten the arms. And if it's available to you, you can walk the hands or the feet in a little bit. And our pulsation here is to start to straighten the legs a little bit. Again, no force. Compassion for yourself to press the heart through the arms. Breathe deep. Opening the spine, opening all the energy channels of your body. And then when you come down, you bring the shoulders down, keep the hips lifted and hips side to side. So just kind of like slinking down to really release the spine side to side as you lower all the way down. And then relax completely can stretch out, take a mini shavasana here. And this is also a moment where if inversions are part of your practice, you could take a moment or two to do a quick inversion. I won't teach them here on this video. So I really do think you need uh, in-person attention for instruction or at least more detailed instruction than we have time for here. So just several deep breaths connecting to your body. Acknowledging whatever thoughts are present, letting them go. And then we'll twist, simple twist, right leg is straight, left knee is bent, cross your left knee over towards the right side of the body. Stretch your left arm out and breathe into your spine, breathe into your rib cage. And then release that side. We'll change sides, straighten your left leg, bend your right knee. And cross your right knee over to the left side. Stretch your right arm out. And then we'll slowly release that side. Coming now to Shavasana. If you use any props for your Shavasana, please do prop yourself as you need to. We have about a three minute Shavasana in this video. I will guide you with some words and then feel free to relax as long as you like in silence.
So letting your breath be completely free now. No breath control. You don't even need to try and breathe deeply. Just release your breath back to itself. And consciously relax any part of your body that is holding tension unnecessarily. Let it relax. Allow yourself to commit to stillness as you're here. This doesn't mean you need to hold any tension to create stillness. Stillness is what naturally arises when we cease all other activity. Just noticing any tendency to fidget or to fix things. Find out if you can allow that to come to rest. The same thing with the mind. You don't have to try and hold the mind still. The stillness and the silence of the mind is what happens when the activity of the mind comes to rest. And so that will happen in its own time. Giving the spaciousness. Just breathing into the space of your whole body, of your whole being. You can rest here in stillness and silence as long as feels good. Thank you for practicing with me.